cavity feeling. You can hate it all you want, but you gotta get it done when you do have cavities if you want those pain to go away. So on this video, I'm gonna pull my sleeves and mentally prepare you guys for your upcoming cavity treatment. Cause real talk, everybody's gangster till the drill comes out. Hey guys, welcome back to another fire dental session with yours truly, Daily Smile. A lot of different things can cause someone to be scared of going to a dentist. It could be the drilling, it could be the cause, it could be the smell, it could be the dentist. So out of my curiosity, I want to know what makes you nervous or what makes you scared to go to see a dentist. Here's a little poll. If none of them are listed, you can maybe write it on the comments. One of the most common things that patients are very scared of whenever they're going to a dentist is the drilling part. Drilling is scary because, you know, the sound, the feeling is not that comfortable. But you know what makes that drilling 10 times more scary? Is when you're fully conscious and you can't see what the dentist is doing to your mouth. So to mentally prepare you for your upcoming dental appointment, let's break down each steps of how we as a dentist, treat your teeth. So you can picture in your head while the dentist is performing on your teeth. Here's a small disclaimer. I'm not sure what kind of tooth or what kind of cavities you have currently that you're gonna get it treated. So to simplify, I'm going to just talk about the most common cavities that patients come to get that treated, which is the molar. On to the procedure. First things first, the dentist will examine the outside and the inside of your mouth just to feel any abnormalities in your outside of their mouth, like lumps or bumps, or inside of the mouth, like any abnormal signs in your mouth. Of course, x-ray if you're a new patient, or x-ray if your x-ray is outdated. So then after that, the anesthesia, the, the numbing shots will be given to you so that you won't feel any pain during the procedure. However, there's a slight chance that the anesthesia might not be effective the first time around because everybody have a different state of health and being nervous is one of the factors. So let's get you pumped up so that the nervousness isn't the reason why you came back home with a bad dental experience. Once the anesthesia is done, the dentist will rinse or ask you to rinse with water so that you can get rid of that taste of the anesthesia. Once you're all numbed up, now on to the best part, the main dish, the drilling, our favorite tool. Your worst nightmare, but it's a tool that we use to remove those bad cavities. And of course, we can't forget the suction. Speaking of drill, there's two types of drill that we use, one being the high speed. Because the drill is high speed, we have to use wet water. So when you're on a dental chair and you feel or you heal the drill and you also feel the water, that means the dentist is using the high speed. And we use this to remove the harder shell, harder surface of the tooth, like enamel. And then we use a different drill, which is the slow speed or the low speed to remove the softer area in the teeth. When using a low speed, we don't use water. So if you just feel the drill, that means that the dentist is using a low speed. You may be wondering, Day, my tooth is pretty small and my cavities is even smaller. Why do I feel like the dentist is drilling so much that they're drilling much more than they're supposed to? I completely understand. It may feel like we're drilling a lot. Heck, you might even feel like we're drilling the whole tooth. But I can assure you, we're only removing very, very small amount down to the millimeter to protect and make sure there are a lot of tooth left. It might just feel like we're drilling a lot of your tooth because we're spending a lot of time with our drill in your mouth. But we're not only just removing the cavities in your tooth while drilling, the cavities away. We're also creating a nice smooth surface, a very good foundation where your fillings will go and stick to the tooth very well so it will last longer and there won't be any cavities forming in between the cracks of the tooth and the filling. As the drilling is done, the cavities all gone and then the surfaces are all smooth, the foundations are made. We place an etching solution to make that foundation even better because some of the stuff that while we're drilling, we don't see it with our eyes. So these solutions like Edge Solution does help to remove microscopic debris around the surfaces. So essentially making that foundation area much, much better. Next, we go back and prime that tooth with a bonding agent. So we will spread this bonding agent with a small micro brush just around the area. And we make it even better by spraying with the air to kind of get all the crevices around the surfaces so that we don't miss any spot. Once the bonding agent is all nicely spread all around, we finish it up with a light. We activate this bonding agent by using a special light. The light that you see on a dental chair usually, those blue light that dentists use, 
That's the light that we use to activate the bonding agent. Hello? You still there? We're almost done. Just hang in there still. I had a patient where like they actually fell asleep during the procedure because they thought it was very comfortable, especially like after the drilling session where the etching and the bonding is not really that intensive. So patients tend to just get relaxed and just take a little small nap. But anyway, we're almost there. Hang on tight. There are many types of restoration material that dentists use, but in this particular video, we're going to talk about composite. So before we put in the composite on that area, the tooth, where we just drilled and primed and made a nice foundation for it, we first need to pick the right shade of the color of the tooth. Once the color has been found, and now we place the filling, and we pack it nicely with our compressors, then we remove the excess, and then we mold the composite filling to the shape of the tooth, because you want to look as natural as possible. Once that is done, we will light cure it using the same blue light that we use for the bonding agent, and we will activate the composite and become hardened. The last thing we need to do is to make sure that the composite filling is not too high, that is making your bite uncomfortable. We use this by like a, a piece of paper. We call this occlusion paper. It makes a little bit of mark on the teeth that we can kind of shape up just a little bit just to balance or align the tooth so that it will feel natural when you bite. And after the occlusion is all normal and you're feeling good, you will repolish the teeth using a brush or a rubber to make it look all shiny. And after that, tooth is good as new. That's pretty much it, you know? It's just like, there's nothing to it. You're now, you can go out and eat as much as you want and just make sure to brush your teeth and floss. So, was that too bad? Now you have a mental image in your head whenever a dentist is doing each step, you will know what they're doing. So hopefully, this can help you with some of that. Oh man, I'm scared of going to the dentist. Or, oh my god, this is so scary. Hopefully, this will help you tackle some of your worries. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, peace.